When's the last time you were disrespected? When's the last person who disrespected you? Oh, my wife about 15 minutes ago <laughs> before I came here. <laughs> no. you're, you're, uh. you're making it up now, aren't you? I mean, everyone knows how good you are. <laughs> Nobody is slighting you anymore, are they? Um, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't try to think about that. I still, you know, this, this, this year, I mean, everyone's doubting our offense, so that definitely motivates you. And, and uh, not only me, I mean, all the other guys that are going to be in the lineup, I think we have something to prove, and um, it's going to be fun proving everybody wrong. So when you hear someone say, oh, Jason Bay's gone, they're just not going to be able to score enough runs, that's a, a sign of disrespect to you and to, to Eucalyptus? To everybody, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I definitely, I feel I want to have a, I mean, I want to continue to get better every year, and, and every player does. So um, when you hear stuff like that, Jason Bay's a great player. I mean, we all saw what he did here, and, you know, losing him was tough. But we're going to have to pick up the slack. We all know that. And, uh, you know, we don't need to read articles and stuff like that to know that we're going to have to have a great year to win. Everyone has to what, have a great year. What can, what do you want to do that you haven't already done in this game, aside from, you know, longevity? Um, I mean, I just want to help the Red Sox win championships. You've already done that. Well, we've got to do more. Anybody can win one. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> do you uh, – I know baseball players, athletes in general, think in the moment. We just talked to John Hanna, Patriot offensive lineman, about, you know, what it was like playing in the National Football League. You never thought about the, the price he has to pay down the road. Uh, uh, in terms of physical. So I guess you probably don't spend a lot of time thinking about four, five, eight, ten years down the road. Or maybe you do when you see Mike Lowell coming toward the end of his career and getting moved aside. Jason Veritek, same situation. Do you ever think about that, uh, uh, how that you know, would impact you and your psyche you know, at the end of your career, how you would handle that kind of uh, move? Um, yeah, yeah, I've thought about that. I mean, my, me and Mike Lowell, I mean, he's, he's my best friend on the team. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's, he's helped me out a ton, and, and, and everyone knows what kind of guy he is. He's the, he's, he's the best. And... Uh, you know, you see, you see the stuff he's going through, and, and I mean, everyone's pulling for him right now. He's, he's on our team, and we're planning on him being with us. So, um, you know, you just gotta, whatever situation you're dealt or you're given, you know, you gotta deal with it and, and the best you can, and have a great attitude doing it. Well, Theo told us yesterday he plans on him being here and being an important part of the team. Would Mike be okay with that if if it wasn't exactly the playing time he wanted? Do you think? Yeah, Mike wants to win. I mean, that's that's. That's why Mike came here uh, in the first place. I know he got traded here, but the reason why he signed back is because he wanted to win. Mm -hmm. um, and um, you know, there's there's not a there's a couple other places that you could do that. Um, so um, Mike will be happy whatever role he's given if he's here. He's a team guy, and um, you know we love to have him. Well, what do you expect from him? I mean, obviously the the hip hurt you know, held him back for a while there. He's got that thumb now. If he's healthy, is he able to produce? You know, the way yeah, absolutely. offensively the way he did yeah. a couple of years ago. I mean, he. I think Mikey played in 100 games last year, and he had 75 RBIs and 20 Same. home runs or yeah. something like yeah, that. So, yeah, you play 162 games with that. You're a third. You know, 25 to 30 homers and 100 and something RBIs. So, you know, the production. Mike, Mikey's a very productive offensive player, and and he could swing the bat. Everyone knows that. So, um, if he's here and he's if he's given a role like that, he'll he'll produce.